today we're going to do the archetypal red exercise in veil painting. And what I have here is a piece of paper by Grumbacher. And I highly recommend a piece of paper that is at least 90 pound weight. You could go as high as 240 pound, but I don't think you'll need anything quite that expensive. Something around 90 to 140 pound is perfect. And then I have a little bit of red now squirted onto the side of my saucer here. And I'm just going to add some water and start with this acrylic brush to create about three or four veils that are going to be just masses. Normally, I would be sitting right in front of the painting, but since I want you to see it, I'm going to kind of sit off to the side. And I want you to mix up a fairly light red to begin with. And then you want to dry the ferrule a little bit so that it doesn't run when you put it on. And every time you paint a veil, I want you to get one step deeper with the color. And imagine this red in a sort of undulating or ever increasing mass that moves within itself, if that's possible to imagine. And you can see that I may go beyond with my veil here, beyond what was there last time, because as I said, I wanted to incorporate that small line I got, but also because creating this undulation is also a quality of letting these veils appear one on top of the other, and then drying them in between. And we continue on the same process, ever getting richer. And as you see, I move from the center of whatever I'm painting outwards. Now at a certain point, your brush is still wet, but there isn't much paint on it. So you have to reload your brush and keep going. And as I'm doing this, I really do feel the power of red. It's a peaceful, beautiful power. But it isn't, it's not really angry or fiery. It's not that kind of a red. It's just a, a softer movement. And now we're really starting to get a beautiful red coming forward. A couple more veils. Now, when you get to a place where you have several red veils built upon one another and they are showing the veils behind, those will all be very large. Then I want you to take just an ever so slightly deeper red than your last veil and look at the veil itself and ask yourself, where do I feel that this could get a little bit more darkness within the lighter red veil? And here is where I can see it. So I'm going to put my veil on there and I'll just let it move. It's a little mini movement to what is already there. It's not gonna get as big. And in order to embed it, I'll just wash my brush, dry it on the rag, and then go around the edges to soften the edges just a bit. And now we're gonna support the characterization with just yellow. And so I have a plate here. I'm going to get some yellow on my brush and I'm going to support it from the background. So that would be out here and maybe down here. Where else would it be supported? Perhaps back in this area. 